Let us take a look at the set S. It consists of one apple and one banana. What are the possible subsets of this set? For starters, we have a set that does not have any fruits, the null set. Next, we have sets that consist of one fruit only. Then, we have the set that consists of two fruits, which is set S itself. Now, let us group these subsets into one big set. This new set is known as the power set of set S. The power set of a set S is the set consisting of all possible subsets of S. The power set of S is denoted as P of S. Observe that the elements of the power set are sets themselves. Let us take a look at another example. The set D consists of the letters A, B and C. What are the subsets of this set? First, we have the null set, which is empty. Next, we have the sets that consist of one letter only, followed by sets with two letters only. Lastly, we have the set that consists of all three letters, which is set T itself. These subsets then make up all the elements of the power set of set T. Again, observe that these elements of the power set are all sets. How many subsets are there in a power set? Do we need to list out all the subsets and then count them one by one? It turns out we can use a simple formula to count the number of subsets in a power set. 2 raised to the power of n where n is the number of elements in the given set. Let's check this formula. Again, we turn to set S, where we have already found the power set. There are two elements in set S and four elements in the power set of S. Since 2 to the power of 2 is 4, therefore the formula is correct. Let's check this formula for set T. There are three elements in set T and eight elements in the power set of T. Since 2 to the power 3 is 8, therefore, the formula is once again correct. Let's do an exercise. Find the power set of set U and use the formula to find the number of subsets in the power set. Observe that the elements of set U are 1, 2, x, and y. Therefore, the subsets of U are the null set, four sets with one element in them, six sets with two elements in them, four sets with three elements in them, and one set with four elements in it. These subsets then make up all of the elements of the power set of set U. To find the number of subsets in the power set, observe that there are four elements in set U. The number of subsets is then given by 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. We check our answer by counting the number of subsets in the power set, which is indeed 16. Let's summarize. In this video, we learned to find the power set of a finite set S. We also learned to use the formula 2 to the power of n to find the number of subsets in the power set where n is the number of elements in S.